Utopia tonight. tonight bring out joanne pilon <laughs> oh that was horrible horrible <laughs> hated every minute of it i know <laughs> i'm gonna do this you know it's uh, i'm just rattling off a list i gotta work on like being upbeat and not sounding like i've taken medicine yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, uh, uh, are you using lifts in your shoes, but for or for your depression? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of lifts I don't are think... we talking about here? <laughs> it's it's upsetting because I feel like neither one is making me taller <laughs> or sick <laughs> or happier. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> exactly. I you I'm a, well, how tall are you? Do you? Uh, I think do you know? I'm, uh, I think I'm like a little over. Five two, somewhere between five two and five three. Oh, okay. Right. Then I am tall. Then I'm a little. I'm a schmidge tall. It's hard to tell because when my hair was. Oh yeah, Smidge. okay. It's yeah, his yeah. hair that gets you. It, it is hard to tell because my ha my hair used to be poofier, so I would always look a little tall. Uh, like if anybody was shorter than me, you wouldn't be able to tell by how much. So we're, we're so close. How tall are you then? I'm five four. Oh, okay. So and a half. Yeah. <laughs> no we're not sure which now. half <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it depends i was gonna um, be shorter when i came in but <laughs> like, oh yeah you're right yeah you, you do a long shot already. you're just like off in the distance yeah. it's me <laughs> <laughs> she's you're my like pocket size friend <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we'll photoshop it later i've been fucking around with that lately <laughs> Excellent. Oh my cool. goodness. Oh. I'm just sending Tom some photos over. Do you remember our first uh, gig as Misfits together? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Um, like a road on the road? Yeah. Uh, it was It was see. the first one. Um, I'm trying to think of if we went to Ohio first. Close. Um, oh, you know what? Oh. We... Oh, we hit, we did. It was two gigs. <laughs> so, do you remember okay. your second <laughs> show together? I did. Yeah, she she remember the second show. I remember the, the. It was um. We went to Kentucky. We went to do that college gig, and then we went oh to my Ohio. God. Yeah, that's right. That's yep. right. Yeah. What in the hell is why it, our first road gig together is in Kentucky? I know in the Kentucky. Only time I've all... ever been to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> of all places, and I don't even. <laughs> Super embarrassed to say that when you said we had a gig the night before in Kentucky, I was like, how the hell are we going to get to Ohio in time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I didn't, I had, oh, I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that they were so close together. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember us calling. Uh, we FaceTimed Julia Scotty. We were driving back from someplace. I don't even know where. It could have oh, been Virginia. Right. Yeah. yeah, or something like that. But we had her on FaceTime. Whatever, and we were trying to explain to her how neither one of us is good at geography. And, yes. and she was like, how are you two even sort of on the road? Like, at least you go out with somebody, at least one of you knows. And we're like, yes. no, not a clue. Well, no, we were like, yeah, we're in Virginia. And then we drove past her house. <laughs> and like, no, I guess we aren't in Virginia. <laughs> She's like, you're outside. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought this was Virginia. <laughs> like, Just come in. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was yeah, a lot of fun, and I was, uh, I we had like, I was trying to think of like how it even. I don't know if we did any gigs. We must have done like a couple gigs before that, and I feel like it was, um, it was that one in Montclair in that in that on the top of the bar, and then we were just like, why don't we work oh, together right. more often? And then we were just like, yeah. why don't we just do it? Yeah, <laughs> I think was, so. I mean, well, <clears throat> probably any gig that we've done. I feel like any gig that I've done with you, I've always thought, why can't we just do more gigs together? You know? Yeah. Just be like, yeah. Not? And then exactly. it was, yeah. And finally, we, we, we decided to hit the road. Yeah. Uh, ironically, and... we didn't know where the road was. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's just a <killer> somewhere. <laughs> we started out on grass uh, and then <laughs> yeah. went to gravel. They were like, 
this is a driveway. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, oh man. Yeah. yeah that, uh, I love your, lo I love your uh, misfits of comedy logo. This is a great oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. Who, what's the name of the, the artist? I forget. I always forget. Uh, Diana Redouble. My, my good yeah. friend, Diana did that. Oh, that was amazing. Um, she did yes. such an amazing job. Yeah, and oh, Joanne and I have used like that it. on business cards and stickers, mm -hmm. and we've yeah, abused the yeah. shit. It, it's too good not to use it for stuff. I still got, I got, I think I got stickers uh, right before the pandemic, so I still have them ready. Uh, oh, nice. Know, when, when we're uh, I'm choking we're because, <laughs> because you're excited. <laughs> that would, yeah, I'm excited, and <laughs> but also that would happen. That did happen. We we ordered. I think I ordered new business cards, and you got the stickers. And we were like, mm -hmm. "We'll be ready when we go back out." And fucking nothing. And then death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was it. Uh, that was it. They thought it. Yeah. They thought it started in Wuhan, but really, it started at whatever factory made yeah. those fucking printouts. Yes, these motherfuckers. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> what have you done to us? Oh, yeah. Man. I yeah, I mean, uh, but it's so nice to be able to get some some things on the books again yes. so that we can get yeah. out there. And I'm I actually mean, glad we have stuff coming up in the fall because I just yeah. feel like that. The fall is comedy to me. I feel like nobody, I don't really want to do anything beachy or go outside or like whatever, but I do want to travel at extent, for extended lengths into a car to another warm location to make yes. people laugh. Absolutely. Although, Did why... You? We go to Michigan. Why do we go to Michigan? <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> you know what? You know what's crazy? I I think I think our lives have been threatened more in that state than yeah. any of the other <laughs> rednecky places we've been to. That's true. And Michigan's purple. Yeah. I mean, we were <clears> like <throat> uh, I feel like we were welcomed with open arms in Kentucky, which was yes. amazing because that, you know, you wouldn't see that yeah. coming. You know. They were, they were the were college great. kids were great. And we met a dog. The dog, yes. Yes. I was say, I yeah, that, oh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, that dog, dog was so. I, great. Oh. When you can have a dog in your show or at your show, that's like I would love to perform more for animals. Yes. <laughs> well, my cat is tuned in. Uh, <laughs> he just little... moved his leg like out of like <laughs> I want to. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One day we're gonna just we've we've always said we wanted to get out of the car and fucking go after the cattle, and I think, oh god, I think yes. we we should probably do it in baby steps. But I also feel like rushing to pet them and then performing for them at the same time. I think you're right. I'll run up first and uh, <laughs> you know warm up the cows. <laughs> I'll do do. Do some cow work. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And, uh, and then I'll bring you up and you can close out the uh, <laughs> And then after you get off stage, I'll just be like, wasn't that utterly ridiculous, folks? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Are they booing or mooing? You're like both. Yes, a little of both. Yes. <laughs> a little of both. A little of both. Uh, I was telling somebody the other day, um, <clears throat> I was telling... Uh, Alonzo Bowden was on and we were just talking about the whole uh, like Black Lives Matter stuff, obviously, we were talking about everything that was going on during the pandemic or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then um, just the irrational fear people have of like not only like immigrants or whatever, of, uh, but of just black neighborhoods, all that other stuff, like the violence. Stuff. And I was like, I was like, Joanne and I have been on the road numerous amount of times and literally only been threatened by white people. <laughs> no matter we we walked through New York, we walked through other cities together, urban areas. We performed in, in like you know uh, the I've LOL never, club. Yeah, I've never we were, what, what? Uh, less safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in in white areas. <laughs> yes, white people in that fucking sports bar that we were in in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, uh, where we walked and there was thank God there were sports on the TV because we ordered we we're the only ones who ordered Impossible Burgers. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, oh, I have to like, Rrr. yeah, they were like, not that a weird. <laughs> we, we whispered it to the way. Can we get <laughs> 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 yeah. it's the Impossible Burgers? <laughs> Don't let them know. <clears throat> and they had that I can't remember if we were sign. in a bookstore uh, or what actually, I think it had to be. I don't know what state this was in either. But do you remember that one weird aggressive dude in the store who just didn't 
like the 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 guy who owned the store had to tell them tell him that we were comedians and performing down the street and we oh. cuz he was like he literally said something along the lines of like I don't like their kind here or something like that. Oh, <laughs> like do you Jesus, remember that? I, I said something that. fucked oh, up gosh. and we were just Maybe like I didn't hear that. Oh, is he gonna I murder us? I think he just <laughs> meant short. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what's going on, doesn't it? Tom, <laughs> you know your camera's out? Hiatus. <laughs> yeah, he is a hiatus. Your camera's out, Tom. I, by the way. Thanks. Thanks, John. Like you think I didn't notice that that I'm not freaking out for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I appreciate pointing it out. We can't even see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I didn't know if you noticed it. And normally you don't. Yeah, normally that thing pops up. So I thought maybe you just didn't realize it and you were just talking, you know. I keep yeah, normally you have the down to the felt yeah. logo up. There we go. Awesome. Um, nah, he's back again. Now we're just playing musical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who, which one? Who? Where? Where? Yeah. <gasps> Which way is it gonna go? <laughs> um, I uh, but, uh, I don't even remember hearing that. Who? Um, but I'm thinking. I remember a creepy guy. I think it was in o Ohio, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. when we were performing at um. Oh uh, yes. Uh, um, um. Wiley's. Hell, well, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, it was like some old. Um, I don't know, was it? It was like a whole bunch of old toys and records and weird oh, stuff like that. Was yes. that the, or was that the place or that's the place. Sure. Yeah. It was a weird yeah, okay. it was like a <clears throat> antique toy store but, mm -hmm. but oddly enough you weren't allowed to buy anything. Yes. It was so <laughs> annoying. It was like it was. what the what's the what's <clears throat> like draw, walking into some guy's garage or something. <laughs> like, this is great. Well don't touch it. You can't have it. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fucking weird. It was like, yeah, uh, like I had a. It was like walking into a you know, like a friend's house when you were a kid and you weren't allowed to touch his toys. Yeah, I'm picturing Why you like as Jonah that? Hill and the Forty Year Old Virgin. He's like, can I just buy these? No, no, we don't do that here. Yeah. <laughs> go home. Go online. Yeah, but I'm in the store now. I'd like to purchase this now. I remember I did want to buy something and he was like, actually that has sentimental value. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm sure all of it does, but you're, you know, 78. You so you ain't it. taking it with yeah. you. <laughs> Fine, I'll come up. back when you're dead. I mean, what's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> yeah, we met some fucking weirdos. Yeah, that was some, uh, yeah, that was some weird shit. But, um, but yeah, Michigan was always... Uh, a little bit uh, scary. I, yeah. Well, I I still I still crack up every time I think about the first time uh, I had people like a hardcore heckling, like b oh. booing and ready yes. to charge the stage, and you like burst. Yeah. There's a, in the club in Michigan. There's double, like basically like double doors, <laughs> and like you're up against the back of the wall, of the comedy club, and then the doors are all the way in the front. It's, a, it's like a pretty long, you know, pretty big room. And uh, the crowd was losing their minds at Joy. <laughs> Joy like, That's the, right. like the bodyguard just like kicks the door open, like <laughs> looking around. Like I, I literally thought she was gonna have to like climb over yeah. people, uppercutting them. <laughs> Q, <laughs> to Q carry me out. <laughs> She's just punching people. Yeah. <laughs> She just, she just takes her giant watch and wraps it around her knuckles like boom, yes. boom. people left and right. Not that they didn't deserve it. Ugh. <laughs> no, they totally deserved it. Oh, I know. That was that was that was weird. That was twice that happened there. Yeah. Yeah. Those people like I you you wonder um what uh like do a little research or something or not mm -hmm. a research, just like I I mean it's not hard to find out who people are um, right. online, like comedians, you know, it's not hard to mm. find you. It's not hard to find anything about you. I yeah. stalked you for a year. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I know all Just, about you, John. Yeah, she's like, look him up. He's on the internet. Is his <laughs> social, uh, his <laughs> bank records. Everything. I, I know it all. I do. Um, so, I mean, like, how stupid are they to like show up at a show then? Unless they're what, like, for one of my closest friends is convincing people to dock me on the uh, dock me on the internet <laughs> accidentally. 
<laughs> I just like the idea that like I I know I know what you're what you're basically trying to say, but at the same time, there's people like I, she's right. I could look him up. <laughs> it's not it's not that hard to find this guy it's not all hard over to the find <laughs> out his address. Uh, you know, when he's home alone, you know, if you need, you know, at night when he's asleep, it's not hard to find him. You know, his <laughs> bedroom's on the south him. side of the building. Yeah. <laughs> that he's allergic to, <laughs> yeah. and he's five four. Uh, yeah. not much of a yeah. fighter. No, nope. um, <laughs> kicks in his sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like my cat on a yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my god yeah. i love Sa so. sammy looks like a, a tinier version of a cow tipping yes <laughs> yes he is <laughs> he is. he's all right with that too he's got no problems. oh but do you, you know what even though even though we did even though those were bad it, during the pandemic when we were performing i would have gone back in a heartbeat with that same audience oh my god yes exactly yeah even knowing what uh, i know now i would yeah i'd be, I'd be there. yeah <laughs> i can i know it's they crazy. were like oh we, we don't care death that's are we gonna be on for at least 45 though i'm ready i'm whatever <laughs> and yet <clears throat> now that that we're getting back I have shifted a little bit in, in what kind of gigs I do. Um, mm -hmm. Like uh, when I think about, you know, I, I don't, I used to do, you know, I don't want to say like I just do anything for any, you know, amount right. of money. Not that mm. the offers aren't going to come just flying in right now. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. But uh, I think I'm a little bit more, um, I feel like I'm a little bit more selective, I guess, with my time. Same. You know, so. I, I got. Mean, it's, um, it's working well for me because I'm sitting in a room by myself <laughs> with the cats. And <laughs> I feel the same way too. But I mean, I don't. You must also feel like. It, I, it, it, it's, it's, it's driving me crazy. And it's like one of those things where like I see an influx of uh, new comics that I, I don't have yeah. a problem with it or whatever. Like, but, you know, yeah. they, they came out of COVID. You know, they did Zoom shows. They're all right. willing to work for nothing. So all these clubs are like doing all these weird little, <clears throat> you know, shows that they're making, you know, money on. And right. I know those comics aren't getting paid. But right. I just feel I, I struggle with feeling somewhat out of the loop. But also just I don't want to do those shows anyway. Because, I you know, yeah. we're beyond no. we're beyond that. And then at the same time, like, I am also turning down stuff that isn't enough money. Like, I, they wanted me to come out to Vegas for uh, $250. And I was like, no. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, 250 and what? Like, a plane ride in a hotel? And they were like, well, we... We can't do that yet. And I'm like, well, then call me when you can. Uh <laughs> so they weren't even going to cover travel expenses? No. Oh it was God. the opportunity to do uh, a virtual... <laughs> Like, like they're doing like some kind of hybrid live VR shit. And I'm like, oh. not only does that just sound so fucking unappealing. Yeah. Listen, I got In a gig for you guys. It's only going to cost you $300. Local. Let's travel done. Yeah. <laughs> you make 50. You do take home 50, you though. Do. Yes. <laughs> but you're going to spend it on alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to spend it on alcohol on the flight home because it's just, you're going to be sad. You're going to be sad yeah. you took the gig. Completely sad. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, no, I, I feel the same way. Like, there's a lot of stuff I do want to do. And, and I only want to work with, like, the clubs. Like, basically, the clubs that we've, like, become friendly with and stuff, mm. too. Like, I yes. I have no problem working for those people. But there's a lot of people I'm just, like... I mean, you know me. I, I Not only did I burn those bridges, I made sure that I bought the zoning rights and no they Excellent. couldn't ever build another one again. No more bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, Excellent. Yeah. It yeah. does it, it, I was trying to talk to our friends about uh you know people that we know and, and whatever, but it's hard to get I think it's hard to get comedians to not have any kind of an ego about their perform because do you agree like we're not nobody's maybe becoming famous from these clubs, right? No, I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's, no, <laughs> yeah, nothing but, 
I couldn't figure out. <laughs> Why do I drink when I talk? <laughs> when I talk to you. <laughs> Fuck. I try um, to drink. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no I mean, yeah. I feel like that's the thing, though. Like, none of us are getting famous. At, yeah. at the very least, you know, we should all pool our efforts and try to go out with comedians and people we like and book these shows whatever and then it's and, and during the pandemic they were all like oh yeah you're right we should all be sticking together <laughs> and then mm -hmm. the pandemic started to break and it was like i'm by myself here and i'm by myself there and i'm like what happened yeah. to camaraderie nothing yeah no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> nope yeah it's uh it's it's weird it's it's i've learned a lot about different people um mm -hmm. through this good things and bad obviously um yeah I made some um, some friends, you know, not not that I didn't like already know them, but I've gotten to know some people a little bit better, which has been mm -hmm. nice. Um, yeah. And then I've learned a lot about some people that I didn't know and <laughs> will now <laughs> use that to avoid them completely. <laughs> yes. It it was a good D bag detector. Like you were mm -hmm. like, oh, oh that's yeah. I was just like block, 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 hate, mm -hmm. like never, <laughs> never talk to again. Yeah. Um, and that was just my parents and no, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I just locked uh, myself in this room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it but um, because we we talked mostly throughout the whole pandemic stuff like that too. Do you have any like? Uh, do you feel like you got any residual side effects from it where you're like, uh, cause I'm in a, I'm definitely in a funk where I yeah. just don't know what's wrong with me exactly. But uh, I totally, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm exactly there too. I, I have, I don't know where I am in general. I don't know where I am in comedy. I don't know where mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. I believe I'm in my 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 room here. Well, <laughs> that's about it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. I mean, I can't. Yeah, I I can't tell. Like sometimes I'm like, well, maybe it's I need to get out and do more gigs, and that'll make mm -hmm. me feel. But then sometimes I'm like, no, but you know, sometimes I don't feel like that's it. I don't know what it yeah. is, but I do feel off for sure. And even when yeah. I get on stage, I still feel um, a little bit off. I don't feel the same that I, I know, you know, that I did, you know, last couple gigs before it all closed down. Right. It's definitely different. different attitude. Yeah, I did. I've done only one, well, maybe two, one and a half because the Stone Pony gig didn't really count as a gig. I did. I did some, you know, a few jokes and then pushed for the charity and got off stage. Um, but then when I did the one at Greenwich that you were on, or you were on the, you were on the one after, yeah. uh, felt, it felt good, but it also felt like, uh, it didn't matter. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I felt great. And I, I did, I did new stuff and then mm -hmm. got off and then I was like, okay, do I do that again? Or, uh, <laughs> where do I go from, where do I go from there? And yeah, I'm. I don't know. I, I do feel kind of lost and I'm, I'm, I'm stunned that people actually, I think the people who just able to pick right back up are fucking dumb. I'm like, you're a, like, <laughs> like not don't care that they could possibly get like, they just, you know, there's those people who walk around without worrying about cavities. I think that's probably a poor example, but like, it, you know, like <laughs> not that I worry about that constantly, but you know what I mean? Like where, where you just see somebody fisting, candy all the time and you're like really none of that ever bought like you don't ever think like, <laughs> like maybe i'm gonna get a candy <laughs> or like a t like a, they're just like they're always eating something uh like i don't know I, where i i just think stupid people don't worry about that kind of shit and i wish i was one of them but i'm like i don't know i'm just uh i'm still worried about the india thing and um yeah. you know but I, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna shut down ever again because I think everybody's too smart. Like not smart, but I think they're more aware of it coming, so they're like, right. "I'm not gonna fucking do that again." No, no, absolutely not. I mean, I whether we would need to or not, I don't. I I don't know. It's it's so amazing how it became so divisive, mm -hmm. um, which it shouldn't have been. It's it, yeah. it's not like a. It shouldn't have been political. It shouldn't have been politicized. You know, no. Obviously. And uh, that's, 
it just it did make this yeah it made this country really kind of depressing <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah especially the uh, feeling of being dragged back out into public life by morons where you're like oh i don't mm -hmm. think we yeah. should trust that guy but i guess he's screaming He's wearing. He's definitely wearing a hat. So maybe we should listen. Or <laughs> yeah, hats are really. <laughs> <clears throat> They'll get you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I uh, um, no. I mean, I still, um, I still, you know, have a uh, my mask. I have. Um, I keep a, a bandana with me with a, a little filter thing in it all the time. Oh, <laughs> smart! Just in case, you know. Yeah. I mean. A lot of like when I go to the store, I, I always put it on, you know, whether they say, mm -hmm. you know, or not. I guess they most of them don't, but there's still lots of people, and I don't, I don't, know, I don't feel, you know, I just don't feel completely safe, even though I'm vaccinated. Same, I just it's not a matter of trusting scientists or vaccines, it's I don't trust people anymore. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I don't trust people want to do the right thing for other people. Right. You know? Yeah. That, that illusion, if there ever was one is completely fucking shattered. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's the, yeah, that's the most upset. Like I didn't, I didn't have a whole lot of faith or trust in humanity before this. And then yeah. uh, just seeing how people reacted during this whole thing, I was like, Oh no, like nobody now. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. And, um, the mask, I, I love that you wear when the bandana because it looks so badass. <laughs> People <laughs> ask me if I'm going to rob a stagecoach, though. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, yeah, okay. Bonanza theme blasting easy. in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wearing chaps. Somebody Sam. Yeah. Um yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I've had the uh the dumb medical masks and I finally bought um the nice ones. I bought a, the black one that actually you know clamps down. But I feel like a little too too little too late on that. I don't know what took me so long to fucking do that shit. <laughs> you got it on sale? <laughs> you know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> really, it was it, the impetus to buy that was not there uh, six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> but a know, pack well, of ninety, you know, yeah, medical I know. masks. I still, I, like, have a, I still have a shit ton of of other masks too. But um, I've gotten used to, especially with um, with. Uh, the gigs i was finding um that uh getting up and down on the stage it's so much easier to have the bandana because yeah you know i don't have to like do a bunch of stuff i just like think and then done, yeah you know it also so. looks fucking cool because it looks like a you've got an ascot or like a bad at like yes like an, a, <laughs> I, I don't even know but it's like it's also like a collar thing where i'm like oh she's fucking cool as shit yes where and I'm just it like, hides mm. my uh my uh pandemic triple chin <laughs> <laughs> the, my oreo chin as I'm but that's how you know you survived <laughs> yes, and then I have a bullfrog goiter thing going on. We, I feel like we all made it out looking good, though. There's a lot of like, for for what could have happened. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> right, I feel like Tom's having an haunt. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you were looking at something else, but I looked over at Tom when I said that. And Tom had his head down like, oh, I wouldn't say you for me to lie on the <laughs> Fucking, I guess that's what he well, wants to say. <laughs> uh, maybe. I'm, I'm still thinking we're going to name this episode Fisting Candy. Just so, just so people <laughs> Google it, that's, this will come up. Yes. I was, uh, yeah. Yeah, just just a slight delay <laughs> after <laughs> fisting that made me a little bit nervous. <laughs> People just fisting, and I'm like, oh, I hope there's more. That's so that. great! <laughs> Holy shit! Who's worried about cavities when you're fisting? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a, that's a totally a different, different type cavity. Of... Yeah. <laughs> I love that we were racing for that one. I was like, yes. <laughs> "Oh, that's great!" 
Oh, God. oh my god yeah i don't know it's just it's there's so much shit going on all the time too let me you know i've been asking literally the last few a couple guests i've had on have all been uh happy pride month by the way i don't think i oh, ever say, did I say i feel like i've said that to you before but i always feel like such a douche like happy pride and you're like shut up uh, <laughs> yeah you brought her your presents that. ready to give her nice. i always say it on father's day i think that's why it's probably rude that's probably <laughs> like, what's happy. awkward yes oh. Get off my lap. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you? I, I was. Gonna, <laughs> I thought you liked ties. Um, I. Uh, <laughs> you, Diane Keaton, Avril Lavigne. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. All of um, us. Yeah. Uh, but the Burger King thing that's going on, the war against the. Because I had. Oh. Uh, a, a, a different take on it that I got either people liked or tried to course correct me on where I was like, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but I, but it was, it was one of those things where like, I think I'm just so burned out from the last four years of the Trump administration and literally getting no backing from anybody like corporate, not nobody. And then all of a sudden for Burger King to be like getting, you know, press for going after Chick-fil-A and their ads in a chicken yeah. sandwich war, you know, but <laughs> yeah, 40 true. cents of every burger is going to LGBTQ, some, some LGBTQ charity, which is a wit, which is great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I was also, but I, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm just so sick of performative shit. Like the, yeah. like it's, it's all poison first of all. So it's mm -hmm. their poison versus another person's poison. And then right. um, I think I can't remember the, the, the exact tweet, but it was something I got, I got shit on for it, but I'm just curious. I don't, I said, I said, you got to love when corporations that deal in high cholesterol and clogged arteries use the plight of the marginalized to wage wars with each other. And then I yes. hashtag, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, go fuck yourselves. And people were like, <laughs> it's a win. And I was like, but, but I guess it is technically. Do you, what, do you care about that kind of shit? I, well, I do hate Chick-fil-A. I, I do. Yes. So yeah. any, any Which opportunity to, to shit on them, I am all for. But I totally see your point in the fact that, yeah, um, it's fucking Burger King. Yeah. I mean, thank yeah. you, Burger King. But at the same time, uh, you don't need to, I don't know. <laughs> thank you for killing more LGBT, for hogging um, yeah. more LGBTQ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's nice. yeah, it's so, yeah. It's so weird. It's just weird. I, I, I can't handle like all the, you know, like corporate it's it's weird when it's activism through capitalism which is also slowly killing us absolutely i totally agree the corporate um there's so many um corporations that just suddenly have rainbow flags uh you know and <laughs> it's like uh i don't think you're really yeah. you know you're you know i mean oh what a hell of a marketing scheme sure um right but it is it's and and i know a lot of people are just like, like let's keep corporations out of it it's got nothing yeah. to do with it at all you know it's not about it's not about that i mean you know it's it's not you know it's not the worst thing that could happen but it's it's also yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of bullshit at the same time right it is I, I, yeah i don't care i don't care about burger it doesn't make me want to go to burger king uh right only <laughs> for the impossible burger if I have to, the impossible whopper, I will yeah. go there for. <laughs> yeah, we've done that in an emergency situation where we're yes. like, well, we can't find any other place. <laughs> so, and, uh, have you tried that? You've had the impossible whopper? I've yet oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's very it's not, good. It's not, yes. I mean, I mean like, as, as far as like fast food impossible mm -hmm. patties go. <laughs> it's a very it's limited just, range, but yes. Yeah, well, because just, I, I know the other shit they're putting on it is not. The lettuce isn't fresh. <laughs> like, you know, God like. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. This lettuce not fresh. It's just I, I nice know. to to have the same life that that all the other slobs in the world can. <laughs> yeah. And be like, I gotta go get a whopper. You know. Now yeah. we can be like, yeah, we gotta go get a whopper, and we won't, right. You know. Yeah, I can throw up a cow. You know, I mean, <laughs> I can I can feel like shit about some of it, but I can still 
hold my head up high when we perform for the cows later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did not eat any of your relatives right. prior to this show. <laughs> One of my, I think about this all the time too. One of my favorite, Joanne and I were at some gig somewhere. We went out to get it. We, we found, we always find like little off the beaten path places to get uh, impossible burgers. So we go and, uh, the, the, it was like kind of dead in there, but the waitress was like being kind of laggy on getting Joanne a knife. <laughs> Wait, do you want to tell it or do you want me to tell it? <laughs> <laughs> um, you tell me. You tell so it make, so it, 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 it's just coming up. Every, like she kept bringing us out other things, condiments. You know, <laughs> our, we ordered uh, an appet appetizer comes out. And every time Joanne's like, can I just, can I still get, I still, can I just get a knife? I don't have a knife. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. We'll get you now. And Joanne's like, it's fine. I just, I just really need a knife. And she, and I'm oblivious anyway. I just know she's asking for the knife, right? Okay. So, like she, so finally the food comes out and she brings Joanne her knife and Joanne just goes, oh my God, finally. And unrolls it and pretends to stab me across the <laughs> <laughs> And this waitress's face. <laughs> It's like, oh. <laughs> this thing in a murder. And it startled me that she reads. I was like, ah! It was, I, I mean, te I had tears. It was so fucking funny. At what moment did you decide that's what you were going to do? Because I, it was, I, can I get a, just get a knife? I just get a knife. I don't even know. It just happened. It just like, happened so fast. I almost didn't realize I was doing it myself. But the, the, the best moment was her face because she was just like, oh, <laughs> like when I was really going to stab you. And then be like, oh. It was kind of a brilliant. I just like the idea that, that I could have been sitting next to some or anybody could have been there that's a total psycho that's just very polite, but like, hey, please just get a knife and like not telling her what it's for. <laughs> I just didn't. <laughs> just a knife, just a sharpened. Make sure it's sharp. <laughs> ah, fucking hilarious. Uh, that was fun. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. That was. What place <sighs> was that? Yeah. That was I don't remember what place that was. Too. And, yeah. And, like in in the middle of nowhere, you know, too. Like yep. as far as um, you know, uh, people that are gonna be vegetarian, you know. Not yeah. Where, yeah. I mean, not I, where I it's obviously that sentence up completely. I don't know where that sentence. Up. I was like, <laughs> well, I got, you know, people in the there's the I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm, that's great. Is what that looks like is the that we broke like the camera was breaking up and you were just like, yeah. Oh God. Very horrible. Um, I love that. I enjoy. I enjoy um, the going out to to find impossible uh, yeah. foods and uh, yeah, that's great. And now I want to try. Um, I think it was Leah Bonima was talking about when she goes on gigs, she looks for um, like ghost tours or something like that. Oh, dude, we got to fucking do that. That's gonna yes. Be sick. I know. Yes. Oh man, absolutely. I'm I'm excited we for that. We have more fun, I think, uh, getting to a gig and doing stuff mm -hmm. outside of the actual performances than we do. On, yeah. I mean, we have fun on stage, but mm -hmm. just, just fucking, just horror movies, abandoned movie, like just. Remember, we were in one, and we were like the only. We were like, "Is there anybody in this town?" Because we we got to the movie theater at a pretty reasonable time, oh, right? <laughs> and then we walked in the thing, and we we're like. Uh, is nobody is anybody running the reel? For, I don't even think they have reels anymore. But uh, <laughs> that would actually be creepier if there was somebody out there like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding my bike. <laughs> <Bring it. laughs> um, yeah, oh my god! Yeah. What was that? Oh, um, what was the one you forgot your jacket in, and then they were holding some kind of church? That was the one. That was the one that was empty, and they were yes. holding some church meeting in there. Yes, and we had to come was, back later or something. Cause yeah, that was so yeah. weird. They were just yeah. yeah, that was very odd. And then they had to then I had to um like identify it before they showed me <laughs> what they had as if I you know and I go to like theaters around the world and just <laughs> you know, I left my jacket, I left my shirt, I left my pants, I left, you know, and I pick up outfits, <laughs> you know, I yeah, have the you lost know what? and found or something. 
<laughs> this is kind of fucked up, but that'd be really fun to do. <laughs> what if we okay, so went we just and go <laughs> like, and describe like... some 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 you know uh I, I left my sweater it's uh i don't know brown or gray yes and then just see what they bring us and be yeah. like that's it that's the one <laughs> <laughs> we come home with new jackets every time we go somewhere <laughs> You have to put it on and be like, you know, too small. Oh, yep, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I like it a little tight. <laughs> oh, my God. That's no, fucking great. I the like ghost to, tours would be great. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Would Do you remember awesome. when we were in, we were going, we went to Salem, and uh, I don't remember what the name of the song was, but we were, <laughs> Joanne and I were, we're talking about, I don't know if we were like, we, we love, so we have the same taste in music and she's got a killer mind for like, she could tell in a minute, which is mostly my fault when it's not the original <laughs> song. Like if I have, cause I mean, I blame Napster for anything that's downloaded onto my phone from like early two thousands is probably not the right version and we'll be listening to it and I'll see her just sit there and she's like, <laughs> and i'm like and and now so it gets to the point where i'm like no and she's like not the original version <laughs> um but uh i don't remember the name of the song we were listening we were talking about this song we hadn't heard in a long time and i was like oh my god yeah i love that song it's great but uh and i just thought it'd be a nice surprise but i i keyed it up on my phone before we got in the car we get into the car and like a bl blizzard's hitting or whatever it's getting cold and and uh i turn the car on and i i plug my phone and i start playing that song <laughs> <laughs> Joanne literally freaks the fuck out <laughs> she, she, she just like she and it was one of those things where like we're still seatbelt like so she's still in full-blown motion doing whatever she's doing and the song pops on she went are you fucking kidding me <laughs> just like what she was like oh. she's like this place is haunted the song and i was like i put it on i found that it. Was it was hilarious oh my god you freaked me out i mean you i did have done that it was uh, it's because we were in salem that it was so fucking freaky <laughs> it was it was oh and then god. we uh that was another great one too because that was a, we had to dig the car out because oh that god. blizzard hit yes oh that was insane and yet they had people at the show it was kind of they, cool they did yeah <laughs> they didn't like give a that, fuck yeah i know it was like and the and the place was it was uh was it a brewery or a or yeah, a, giant no it was brewery. distillery oh uh, distillery I think, right. yeah and it was in the middle of like half like suburban type neighborhood like, it didn't even look yeah. like anything on the outside I don't know how anybody found it like we barely right. found it and yet yeah but they did they all showed up there. and uh and then the next day I had to go to L A like literally the next day I had to get a flight out oh, there oh right. So we had to make yeah. it back home and we stopped at a a Domino's, ordered ahead of time, and then yeah. sat in the car with a box and just drove and yes. ate pizza. Yes. Then we ran out of, I think, did you run out of, or was it frozen, the, the wiper fluid? So we had to like keep oh. pulling over and throwing water on the windshield <laughs> <laughs> so we could see. I forgot about that. That was, that was it. That was fucking frightening. Yeah, because we it was like cars were like yeah. oh god yeah that was yeah. that was horrible yeah. that was great yeah. though that no was great where we the were on but... the road. yes so many <laughs> there's one. times i've got I, I well i'm the only one i i joanne has to drive through certain parts of the country because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i will inevitably inevitably get us pulled over or arrested i mean i got myself <laughs> the, the one time i the only time i've ever had trouble in Ohio is when I didn't go with Joanne and I wound up in the backseat <laughs> of a cop car. And, oh, God. uh, yeah. So, you know, you it's getting to the point where my friends too, are right? like, Oh, you're going to wherever. Make sure Joanne drives <laughs> yeah. when you get to And I'm like, I know. <laughs> 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 oh. We do good. We do good going down to Virginia though. We, we don't have yeah. any issues. Surprising. No, that's always great. There. Yeah. I love, Kazi's. Kazi's is so great. That's a great club. That's rain. my favorite place. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that. Boom. The rain is so awesome. So nice. She is. Always such great crowds. And, yep. you know, you wouldn't even think it so much um, for the the area 
Um, not that there is bad or anything, but I mean, it's, you know, just mm -hmm. that it's in the South. Yeah. Ish, you know, but they're, they're so great. They're just fabulous crowds. They get it. They are. You know? I think what happens is too is I think it's in the perfect area because it's like a college town mixed with like a military crowd. Yeah. And then, but if you do happen to go a little bit, there's a smidge south, is when it gets weird. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then you're in the middle of the Bible Belt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but how about that place we would always go to that bar that it's like a sports bar that is always like it's open super late because we would go after the the show, um, and get yeah. uh, and they'd have Impossible Burgers, but the place would be <laughs> packed with people. Yes. Um, and there's big music and stuff like that. And I yeah. Think, I feel like last time we went, you know, after the show, it was super packed and we were like the only two little white specks in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were. And we just, we looked silly. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> and they were, but they couldn't have been a, another good example though of, mm -hmm. of a completely, to, it was a, like, uh, literally, we're the only white people in this club. And everybody couldn't have been nicer. The doorman. Oh, God, the doorman was awesome. <laughs> he was so fucking cool. Hey, Scott. Um, yeah, the doorman was so fucking cool. And we actually saw people that were at the show who were there. Remember the table yes. next to us? Oh, right. Oh, my God. That guy was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He was, like, following you on the things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was yeah. great. And he was like, hey, what's going on? Um. Yeah, he would. That was that was that's a great place. That whole outdoor area is kind of interesting too. I mean, we never we've never been there at a normal hour, but like, it's it's like a cobblestone like um, outdoor mall area because it's got a barn. I know it's got a Barnes and Noble. Right, um, right. The movie theater and, too. Oh yeah, the movie theater. Yeah. Oh yeah, because we did go see a movie there then, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we, we almost always see a movie at some point. Yeah. In our in our <laughs> travels. <laughs> Oh, yeah. something always good playing. That's why something scary yes. or something good. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we have our pre-show uh, awesome ritual, which is finding Mash as fast as possible in yes. a <laughs> hotel. Just pretty, a uh, pretty. Uh, I mean, you know, not on wood, but uh, we've been pretty lucky to find it every time. <laughs> every time, <laughs> can't, cannot go wrong with some Mash. Yep, a little <laughs> five-hour energy. Oh Before god! <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure I should probably ease into. I was thinking about that because I don't. Joanne is always chock full of the goods. She's got um. <laughs> it's another odd quote that I'm tossing out there yeah. for no reason. Fisting. <laughs> this thing is chock full of goods with Joanne Pilot. Oh um, <laughs> my god! That's my new intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, she's always got five hours and five hour energies on her, and I I didn't I never used to take them, and uh, I, they they some of them have literally almost destroyed me, um, because I've just been like. Like by the time like it kicks in, it's good. It feels good, and it feels like it, as soon as we're if we're ever like super tired coming back or whatever. But man, some of them punch. You know, they have a uh, words. <laughs> they really. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> let me let me just grab all the words I need right here. Just coming. Uh, I remember taking one without you once, and the club owner oh. that I that Oops, I oh sorry. <laughs> yeah oh, 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 oh yep cat butt. <laughs> Thank you, I think Sam. that's our, our first cat asshole on what um about fisting? on dystopia. <laughs> speaking of fisting, speaking of speaking of fistful Oops, of chalk baby. nuts, good um, gravy. <laughs> that was great. Oh, all right. <laughs> I know that um, was really rude, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean to interrupt your oh, story with a cat ass, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that goodness. was great. But I um, pretty hard. Name the show yeah, that was awesome. fisting and cat buttholes. Perfect. <laughs> That's gonna be the screen cover for this. Is just the cat's asshole <laughs> in Joanne's face. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> <laughs> trying to stop it from happening. I mean, he's a big man. He's a big man. Sammy. He knew exactly what he was doing. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was he was playing, you know, casual. You didn't notice that he got up. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right there's some diminishing battery. returns on five hour energy if you drink one after the first you just nap oh if you drink one uh, may, oh wow that's interting i didn't so I, I don't think i've ever had more than one. Oh yeah i can't imagine like more uh at a time like drink, like it doesn't become 10 hour energy right like, that would be <laughs> the insanity <laughs> Like like a psycho for ten hours. Oh, yeah, one of the I, I took one without you. And one of the club owners one time was like, "Are you on? Are you on drugs?" And I was like, <laughs> "On drugs?" I'm like, "Why?" And he's like, "Well, I don't know, man. You came flying in here with your car. You came into the club talking a mile a minute. I've never seen you like this." And I was like, "Oh, I took a five hour." And he was just like, "I wish you had told me you just taking drugs." <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Oopsie. <laughs> hours six through ten are tough. I, yeah, yeah. I I feel like it's got a beautiful crash to it. I think our, our combination of taking it right before the show, performing, mm -hmm. eating probably immediately after, and then hotel. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it, uh, I think we time it very well. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it, it takes us right through, and and then when it's done, man, it is done. Yeah, and that's the end of that. Yeah. Um, there was a, a what was the hotel we were in? that had a uh, an old fashioned elevator and we were like yeah we're going to oh. die in this thing yeah uh, cuz we couldn't we almost couldn't fit our bat we were like oh yeah. do we have to close the <laughs> crank we, yeah the that thing? was a, was that in dc <laughs> yes yeah 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 it's that old yes. hotel in dc yeah that was Scared also no was that a, also the hotel that um, on the tv had some weird local looking channel with a like a, a dance like a senior dance on it and yes. by senior i mean like senior citizen <laughs> dance yes it was they had <laughs> some, some random senior aerobics that, you know? yeah yeah they were just like moving around it felt like room. do you remember lost yes when desmond's in the in the uh, thing and they they find they like crack it open and they find out they can go down into the hatch and there's these weird, t t these t little TVs, and when they turn them on, it is like there's like people like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> there's like weird channel shit going yes. on. We're like, oh. it was very strange. I, I remember yeah. being like, wow. I mean, because it also, you know, looks like it's local. Like, I almost want to like wanted to just walk around the the hotel and just like open doors and see if I could find a dance. You know, be like, yeah. oh, here it is. It's in this room. Yeah. <laughs> guys, my favorite is when we do, whenever we <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is when we do morning tv and every now and again bill would watch it and then go oh man yeah you guys look like shit and i'm like well we drove 10 hours <laughs> motherfucker and you booked it for 6 a.m we had to God, we literally God. drove into the studio <laughs> <laughs> yes stepped out of the car and and, and just after like jackasses <laughs> yeah and we passed we 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 met lorena bobbitt briefly oh yeah that's right did you really oh my yeah God, yeah and the yeah. people defending her were a little psychotic and rude oh, remember in the green room my. yes very weird people uh, yeah i can't remember what their their whole story was or, or what they were i don't know what they were just yeah me neither like, babbling about some I don't even know if it was a legal thing that they were talking about or if it was, yeah, I don't know, but they were. I'm not sure. They're really like, aching. Can you get me a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. Just... They were like, they were like, <laughs> she, you don't understand. Like she had to do it or some shit. Like they were justifying yeah. her cutting off a dude's dick yeah, and then tossing right. it into a field. Yeah. That was strange. like, yeah. okay. To each yeah. their own, you know? Yeah, I hear you. I, I, I could get the first part, but tossing into a field, I don't know where that, where that came from. So many better ways yeah, yeah. to toss it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh my God. It's my play Brass. in that field. What are they going to think? Yeah. Brass, yeah. Jeez. More like the Brass field of wet things. dreams. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. That's terrible. Uh, that's why I haven't been on stage in a while. <laughs> Those are the jokes I'm doing now. I'm like, guys, am I right? It's, it's a problem when you start talking like this. <laughs> How to alienate half the crowd 101. Are they looking? <laughs> oh, shit. God. Oh, man. God. 
So what have you come out of it? Have you have you come out of it? Was any new activities? Um. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> I was gonna say spending time with my wife. <laughs> that should probably not be a new activity. <laughs> Uh, I do. I did spend time with her before, um, mm-hmm. but not as much. Um, right. But it's 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 been fun. I mean, we've we've made up things, not made up things. To do, <laughs> but we, you know, <laughs> and then we built a fort. Yeah. <laughs> You're like this room is all also what I'm in right now. You just hit well, the side. Isn't it. real at all. <laughs> you just push it right down. You know whatever. Ooh. That cat. That cat is actually animatronic. <laughs> I, I put that together myself. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, we uh, probably probably did a little more um, uh, more edibles than uh, I'm used to doing. <laughs> I got a little, a little love that, that going on, but uh, uh, it's been. Uh, I, have you done mushrooms? Uh, no, I've never, I've never had mushrooms. I've never. We should. Never done anything and I'd higher. Like to. Yeah, I mean, um, I've the most I've you know, I've not, I've not done a lot of drugs actually. Essentially, it's just been you know alcohol and and weed. I think. Yeah. I think that's it. No ecstasy, yeah. no Molly, none of that. No, yeah. because it would kill everybody. And it, like uh, some idiot would get Molly at a concert and then they'd never hear from them again. There you go. <laughs> Not because they were in it. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the way that works. I, I, had a, I had a couple of friends and I, and I was just like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that shit. That seems like there's no good place to get it. Um, I don't want to get cavities. <laughs> worried about that. <laughs> They worried about the cavities. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god! The shit that we've we've come up with. You know what? I still I still say, uh, "Are you fucking my wife?" Um, <laughs> yes, I love that. That's the best. That is such it really a is. perfect response to Are anything you outrageous. My wife? Are you- Fucking my wife, that is insane. Yeah. We, Joanne and I are trying to get that. Spread. We were driving and somebody almost, somebody cut us off. And I was, I don't know, I, I sometimes I'm just out of it or whatever. But I was, I was like about to road rage. And I was like, are you fucking? And what, for whatever reason, I paused for like half a second. I was like, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joanne just lost it. And then, but I forgot about it later. And then she said it later to me. <laughs> and I just burst out laughing. And then from, from then on, I, I, you, you got me so good. I was waiting at a, I was waiting at a doctor's office and I was texting you, talking to you about probably gigs or whatever, but I was like, oh my God, somebody just passed out in the lobby here and you just wrote back, are you fucking my wife with a question mark? <laughs> and I burst out, the girl's on the floor. I mean, I it was like a kid in high school, like trying to hold it in. And this one next to me was like, are you all right? I'm like, my friend just said something. <laughs> Crying. Oh, we had some good ones. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it gets it. Well, I, some of them, I mean, because I can recall laughing hysterically when we were driving um, overnight to to D.C. Um, mm-hmm. to do that morning show and just being yep. so slap happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talking about talking about daddy's husband pick from oh, uh, maybe their own. <laughs> pick Henson. Trying yeah, to- we. <laughs> you, know, you know how they came up that his name is Pick Henson? How? Um, because I was trying to, uh, like his name, you know, Dottie's husband is uh, Bob Henson. And mm-hmm. I was trying to not tell you that his name, what his name was. So I was trying to give you hints. And I was like, mm-hmm. what do you do with apples? And you were like, Pick. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, right. It's Pick Henson. <laughs> 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 oh my god yeah. that is that is fucking Amazing. hilarious oh oh my god that pig henson is fucking i didn't i did not i, I did not remember that but that is hilarious pig henson daddy's husband pig henson daddy's husband pick 
even know why we were talking about a league of their own, but it's probably what, when are we? Yeah, that's true. If it's not that, it's ah, Jaws, you know, cheapy. Jaw, yeah, cheapy. <laughs> And do an Irish accent. So for some reason, yep. she and I would get in a car and then literally just be like, uh, oh, we're going. Because you know why? We always leave so early in the morning like we're escaping Nazi Germany. We'll, yes. we'll go <laughs> we'll leave for a gig. Like we're fleeing the land. And we're, just, oh, we're getting our stuff together and getting out of town. And then it'll it devolve into like a pirate. It comes. It, it it starts off with some kind of cross between Lucky Charms and Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> it's like, oh, well then, there we go. Fruiting. Holy shit! Yeah, man. Oh, I can look forward to that. Yay! I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. To yeah, I can't there. wait till we go back out. On the you, you did you start did you start doing stand up uh or you started a couple years before me right um I think so maybe one or two I'm not That's what I thought. sure I think okay it's I think it might, I don't know uh what year I started, started in two thousand five I think I started like in the beginning of two thousand five or the end of two thousand five okay no yeah because I used to see no, oh me were you oh in the I started um. A bit, um, probably, yeah, towards the end of 2005. Okay, I think I, I think it was in the end of, I can't remember if it's 2003 or 2004, the okay. end of one of those. So, um, yeah, it's either one or two years. Right, because you were one of the first people that I used to see all the time, like, at the, at Gotham, the old Gotham. Oh, yes. Um, that oh, was a nice place. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was good. Uh, um and the, uh everybody hated the ringer type shows but yeah they were that fucking... was i mean at that point i mean that's how you know a lot of people that's how i got a lot of stage time i guess you know i'm not whether it's was the the best way to do it or not right <sighs> you know yeah yeah i wound up doing that um or trying to do that or whatever, and yeah. then wound up getting on like uh, Broadway. Uh, uh, well, uh, when it was just the improv Broadway before it was Broadway, it was the improv, right? And then uh, the upstairs and the downstairs had two things going on always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I used to do that for a while, and that was it. It was supposed to like he was supposed to bring, but it was very lax about it. So if you didn't, it right. didn't fucking matter. Yeah, and I used to wind up doing that, but yeah, that's where I remember seeing you a lot and meeting you like officially and then we just wound up clicking and then mm -hmm. that was it so we'd always get excited yeah. when we were like bouncing around gigs yes. or whatever and remember i remember uh remember the laugh lounge that was uh, oh fuck down. i remember that yeah. room that becky donahue a... right yes yes oh, whatever I happened she's... to her i think she's out in la um i'm oh. pretty sure i think uh I mean, she's definitely not not around here, so she must be out there because I feel like that's the only two places people are. <laughs> There's no, <laughs> There's no in between because I don't know where it is anyway. So I mean, when it, she's not in Kentucky, <laughs> you, <laughs> 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 well, it's okay. Uh, it's Michigan, I guess that she should. Be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that was a nice hotel we stayed at in Kentucky, though. That was like, remember yes, that place? It was with the horse. There was a big horse. <laughs> oh, because I guess, oh, duh, how dumb am I? Stupid there's a horse out. statue. Just clarify. <laughs> yeah. There's a, yeah, a big there horse. A horse. There was a horse in the room. Remember that? We rode it around. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm like, that was a nice hotel. You were like, it was a barn, John. Yeah, it was a, uh, <laughs> was in a barn, for fuck's sake. I can't believe you didn't notice. I rode a horse. I rode a horse today. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah Kentucky yeah. was surprisingly uh nice awesome yeah it was cool uh I, that's that's the thing that, that's the thing tom comedians will get very if you give us a really nice hotel room we'll probably talk about that for a few years because it's very rare <laughs> like, mm -hmm. look at the yeah. space <laughs> no yes. you're like oh so Two much room for activities mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we built bunk yeah. beds Mm -hmm. <laughs> they build forts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, Becky Donahue did the Laugh Lounge, and I also remember Michelle Buteau was her. Um, uh, I guess the person that did the ho like just officially hosted that room. Mm. She was great. Yeah, I. Yeah. Um, she's got a. Does she have a? She have, she's been on a couple of shows, I think. Now. She has. Uh, she's out in L.A., Michelle. Um, yeah. God, I was trying to think. She was on. Um, she does those. Um, I don't know. If she's got her own show. She might, but she does those panel things now. Where like mm -hmm. every every time there's like a documentary about comedy or something like that, I just see Michelle Buteau pop up, and oh, she's always yeah. just like, you know, <laughs> doing her uh, doing her shtick. <laughs> she's. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> that was, that sounded like a That's dick thing to say. Right? Really, well, I, we all have a <laughs> yeah. shtick, but yeah. <laughs> didn't know what didn't know what else to say. Doing her shtick. <laughs> Doing her shtick. <laughs> Hashtag shtick. <laughs> <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm shticking it. Um, I'm shticking it. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of good little uh, little clubs, you know. And so many. Like, it's crazy the the places that closed though through the pandemic yeah. too, like um, uh, Danger Fields. You know that surprised me because I yeah. I it was more like a museum anyway, and I didn't understand why. You know I know. I mean, I didn't uh, think that it mattered if there were people there. No, <laughs> <to stay open. laughs> you're like there never was before. Yeah, why is this so surprising? <laughs> God, I'm trying to think of this one prick that that started booking that room. Speaking of burning bridges, um, <laughs> the fuck's his name? I can't think of it. He's such a piece of shit. But he's uh, he's <laughs> Ooh, he's booking the comic strip now. Oh, okay. And I, I mean, this fucking guy. If you ever said oh. like he looks like if someone survived a heart attack that shouldn't have, we were like, oh, <laughs> okay. I can't believe you wanted to keep going after that. Um, because he's just like, going on, or <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I want to know who it is now. Jeez, I'm wondering. God, I can almost, I can almost think of his name. Let's do this in green room talk and check out this video of Joanne we have. <laughs> You, you, know what's, you know it's funny i bought that cane i have yeah. that <laughs> yep and you and uh, i'm sure you can do that little dance now too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. that's probably why you bought the cane because of that dance that comes with it <laughs> yeah, yeah. there was whoever was in that store was like you're taking that with you right i was like <laughs> I don't worry about it. I, I got it. I got it. She does that with canes. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Luckily, there's no sound in that video because you just hear my hips creaking. <laughs> John's like, that's her shtick. <laughs> Doing her shtick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's too fucking good. Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> Did you ever want to be, because uh, I always think about this, did you ever want to be anything else? I didn't even know. <laughs> I, say, I don't even know I wanted to be He thought of his bones but... are too fragile in his elder years. Yes. What is that? <laughs> 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 I didn't even see that. Oh, he I'm would so be. I don't know. What you say? Uh, Joanne, Joanne looks, looks like would... they'd be the leader of a group of survivors in a zombie apocalypse. Oh. I agree. That would be awesome. It's ironic because I always think whenever there's a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to be one of the first to go. Uh, just oh, really? Just your stupidity. I oh. <laughs> I have no, I would be scared and probably <laughs> cry. Oh, I think I you would, know. I think you would fucking dominate. I think you'd have that mask on and go full. You'd probably be, you know, like we'd steal a truck, a big one. Yeah. Yes. It'd be kind of like okay. a Mad Max thing. I'd be a great runner. Like I wouldn't be able to like, but I would, if somebody, I'd be one of those dudes. They'd be like, "You're tiny enough. Can you crawl in that vent and steal us some medicines?" And I'd be like, medicines. "Yeah, I guess." Why do they <laughs> shove medicines in the vent? <laughs> <laughs> that's well, the, that's well the only rats would have pharmacy. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <God> damn it! <laughs> I hate this medicine vent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> there's nothing in the pharmacy, and you're like, well, they obviously <laughs> keep it in the vents. Keep it up in the vents. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I go to the pharmacy, I'm like, I like to pick up my prescription, and she climbs into the wall, and, uh, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> All right, hang on. The uh, the <laughs> the poorer pharmacies have like a rope they have to climb to get to it. <laughs> yes. All right, hang on. Yeah, Let me get to the top. Fifty fifty that Joanne keeps a knife by their ankle. <laughs> That's it. Uh, it. It's a butter knife for when for when we get bagels at Starbucks and shit. But yeah. <laughs> You got some fun things, you know. Do you do mean, I, I also remember our <laughs> army of seagulls that we tried to amass when we were. Uh... Oh my goodness, that was scary. Yes, that was it. Oh my god, was that a Burger King? Oh my god, yes. There we go, Burger King. Yep, Burger King. We were feeding. It. We had the I had the sunroof in my car, so we opened it up, and then we were like, "Hey, there's a bunch of seagulls over here," and we started throwing shit out the sunroof. <laughs> and then we had the bright idea to see if we could get one to come inside. <laughs> like we hold it at the very top. And see what happens. And fry, one was just like yeah. hovering over the top. <laughs> yes. I don't know why we did that. We have that on video. Probably not good. Do no, none know. of that's good. Yeah. Okay. At least we're not doing drugs and coke on the road. That's true. Yeah, that's true. We don't. We don't do I wonder drugs. how much different it would be. <laughs> <laughs> we would have probably would be... tried to let the seagull drive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We'd probably just remember more. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, yeah. we don't remember shit now. We're like, where was exactly. that? <laughs> probably, probably do better at geography also. Like, yeah, yeah. Now we know where we're going. I would have loved it if I asked you what you wanted to be instead of a comic and you were like, cartographer. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> Boom. I'm always drawing maps, you know. <laughs> hey, yeah, I can I can't. I honestly can't uh, imagine not doing this. It was so disturbing at the beginning of the pandemic when we first, when it first, not even, not in the, actually not even beginning, when it first started to become like, oh, this is going to be a long time. Like, cause remember yeah. when it first started, it was like, nah, maybe a couple of weeks and then we'll be back mm -hmm. out there. Doing and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, it's not going to be a couple of weeks. Right. It got really not depressing. <laughs> Yeah, not performing sucked and not being able to go out on the road fucking blue. Everything else I think I th thrived in, though. Uh, <laughs> you were good not... with cheese. You ate a lot of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Yes. That was your, your, your saving grace. You were amazing. It really was. It was my saving grace and also my downfall. <laughs> when it, I think that was the, the, at the point where I opened up an entire, but where I didn't want to cut it. And I peeled open a package of it on its own and then just sh shoved crackers and then bit into the cheese. <laughs> that was when I knew that my heart would stop at that point if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't pull back. I was like, it's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been fucking rough. But uh, like you said, at least we're all going back out on there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, uh, but it, it's definitely changed. It definitely changed. Yeah, and not for the better. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that either. I did not yeah. say it. <laughs> it was, uh, <clears throat> I believe we were supposed to be keeping this on a sad note, and uh, <laughs> and therefore <laughs> yeah, I uh, <laughs> I, uh, I want to keep keep that sadness alive. How did you? You know what I wanted? To, like I, you got a um, it's on Hulu or Amazon Prime, and I always <clears throat> throw it into your credits. Uh, I've seen it. I've seen you in it. How did you wind up coming? You, you were in the, um, I think it was like a word, the words documentary. Oh, right. Yes. Words. Um, that's that a great, was, uh, that's a great film. Uh, yeah. Um, that, uh, I'm trying to think of, of how that, how I, I think I, uh, through another comic, um, Adam Sank was, a uh, a gay comic and, um, he introduced me to AJ Mattioli, who who made the film, um, mm -hmm. and um, basically, no, it was a, it was an amazing um, connection. I mean, such a, a great opportunity uh, to, and we got to do some shows. We actually did some just regular stand up shows to, oh, nice. to you know, uh, raise money for it and stuff like that, but. 
No, it was a, it was a, it was amazing. It was awesome. <clears throat> yeah, such a, a great experience, and it's it's still. I, I mean, it. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how many years ago it was. It can't have been. I don't know. It can't have been that long it, ago. But no, it wasn't sure. too long. But it was probably like maybe four, three, four now. By the point, maybe could be. Um, but it's still. I mean, it holds up because especially now because i feel like there's so many i mean just because being the words um as there's so i feel like there's I, is it stupid to say there's so many more words now no <laughs> <But there are people. laughs> no i know what you mean there is. well wait I so mean, tell people what it, what it's about though too because i didn't really i didn't really even describe it but i know what it is uh, <laughs> the dictionary <laughs> <laughs> we each take a we each take a word. <laughs> yeah, we spell it and define it. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's really about words that you know people use to describe people, but whether it's mm -hmm. um, you know a positive or a negative, um, and how we describe ourselves and how it you know we describe our identities, and especially in the in the LGBTQIA plus. Uh, community, it's become huge because there's so many things. Like I've just recently become aware of the negative um, connection with uh, lesbian, the word lesbian, because of a like a subset of lesbians that are considered or that are called terps. Have you ever heard of this yeah. term? Yeah. No, I haven't. Uh, T E R F, um, trans exclusionary radical feminist. Mm -hmm. uh, and they just, they refuse to accept trans women as women. And I just don't, it, and I don't understand that at all. I don't understand that thinking at all. And it's, right. it's, it's disturbing. And, uh, you know, a fellow, um, uh, well, Facebook friend, uh, let's just say, uh, brought it to my attention that, I mean, in her situation, I, I'm not sure where she lives, but she has known some of her friends that have actually um, come into uh, really har harrowing experiences uh, with regards to TERPs uh, wow. and to the point where she doesn't consider herself or want to use the word lesbian to describe herself anymore um, wow. because of the, you know and it sucks because you know mm -hmm. it's a good i mean it's a good fairly good and descriptive word but uh yeah i totally get the fact that you know it's just it's it's uh you know so now so now i'm queer <laughs> well, I was gonna say it's odd that such a small faction of people, because I feel like turfs don't outnumber anybody in particular, right? But no, that it could have such a that. negative connotation and an impact on a mm -hmm. much larger group that they feel they can no longer identify as what they've always identified as. I don't understand the right. power imbalance between those, you know, situations because you would think the other, the positive end of it, could take over, and for some reason, yeah. the negative connotation, no matter how small seems to uh always have the loudest voice it's so bizarre to me it is it is you know i i was when i was um I privately talking with her about it i you know i wanted to get her um not her side but her her thoughts on it her mm -hmm. um you know experiences on it yeah exactly um because i hadn't really experienced a lot of it uh, i don't know any turfs or you know yeah, I mean uh, anybody who's who's like that, but um, at the same time, like I, I know way too many um, trans people, trans women, trans you know, I don't, way too many that I would hate to be associated even yeah. remotely with anything that would would make them feel uncomfortable because it, just like with any marginalized um, group. Any group, I, I feel like any group uh, that takes their marginalized experience and passes it on to another group, mm -hmm. it just, it kills me. It, it drives me crazy. It just makes me yeah. so angry. And it's like, why would you do that? You know, I mean, you're supposed yeah. to, you have that perspective of a minority. 
You right. know what it's like. So why would you do it to others? You know? Yeah. yeah you, would think, you would think somebody that was looking for inclusivity would mm -hmm. understand how to be inclusive to somebody else. But exactly. And so you, get, it's funny too. Yeah. You see that with immigrants and you see it with, I mean, every community has people within that community who, who, who feel like, fuck you. We're no, and we're now normalized and you can get the fuck out, you know, I mean, how many people got off the boat at Ellis Island and turned around and they went out and get off my land, you foreign bastards. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like they, exactly. they signed the book and then that was it. And you're like, Jesus Christ, guys. You know, uh, you know, that's nuts. Great. I remember having to ask you what a turf was because I was, you know, you join these Facebook groups that are like pro, you know, or, or you know, allyship or pro uh, LGBTQ or whatever. But when Eddie Izzard um, came out, and he was again, or ba or basically not even came out, but redefined um, his um, uh, pronouns or whatever. Um, instead of just being a transvestite, he wanted to be called uh, she, and so it was, you know, um, she and her or whatever. Um, and then, but I was part. I didn't know what was going on, and I was like so confused because that Facebook group had posted like a letter to. Um, to Eddie Izzard saying that they, he, uh, she betrayed her, um, I don't know, her idea, her original. And I, I remember I had to ask, I was like, what the fuck's good? What is this? I was like, I thought it was a part of it. And you were like, you don't want to be in that group. <laughs> and I was like, I, I don't understand. Did they get hacked? And you were like, they didn't get hacked. <laughs> You're like, like, apparently this is what's going on. Let me fill you in. Yeah. Um, it's, so, it's so horrible. I don't understand it yeah. at all. It drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, um, when, um, what, what kills me is, is, uh, um, if you're like extremely religious, like, um, if you're, uh, religious and black and you still can't see that judging, uh, mm. LGBTQ people like is, is not it's not right. How can you do that? You have spent your entire life basically trying to, um, you know, not be judged for who you are, you know, right. and not, yeah. you know, I mean, seriously, why that, that kills me. Oh, makes me so angry. It, it almost reminds me. We, we did that one. I mean, we did, you and I did like a million talk podcast things about everything Ooh. that was going on. And, the, and that one we did, um, after the Brianna Taylor verdict came out or whatever was the most awkward mm -hmm. three hours probably I that. that we, I think we've ever had to, but the, but the one dude who hosts that show is black or whatever. And he was talking about how you couldn't possibly like me. I understand, you know, I mean, I, I get, you know, I get, I'm Italian. I get dark in the sun. That's a, if you leave me out there too less about it, but like, <laughs> you know, but you, you obviously have dealt with a lot of that shit. <laughs> Just like dismissing like every aspect. First of all, I think he was calling you like Jill. I don't even know if it, like your name is on the bottom of the screen. And I kept being like, dude, her name is on the bottom of the screen. Um, but like you can't possibly understand. And the entire time you and I kept texting back and forth, like, does he know you're gay? <laughs> Not sure. Um, and she wrote back, he doesn't even know my name is Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is weird how people kind of ex exclude that. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like it's my duty as a, you know, minority or, you know, what you agree would call it, um, yeah. to just be a lot more open to yeah. every group, you know, as, 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 as much as possible, just because I know, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. You know how it feels. You yeah. Know, it's, it's never, will you stop attacking the couch? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a minority group. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm half black and half white. I think <laughs> right. <Fine>. mix um. <laughs> biracial cat. <laughs> yeah, bi 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 biracial cat. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> half cow, half cat. <laughs> I was I was gonna say during that whole podcast, I hope John actually used those words that he said earlier. He's like, "Well, I'm Italian. I get really dark if you leave me out in the sun too long." I feel like that would have been the perfect retort to him. I know how you uh, yeah. feel. I've I've said that a couple times in varying in various situations where I'm like, I think I said it um, at Gotham one night. I was talking to this dude who was uh, not. Uh, he was he was white, but I was like, I don't think he's really white. I think he's like, you know, I I, I said I think I said like you and I are because he was um he you know he had said something to uh, to me in the audience because he was like heckle not heckling but he was like talking back and forth and uh, and he's like I'm I'm not white I'm whatever and then somebody else had said he was white they were just shouting back and forth so I was like correcting <laughs> as stuff was going on I'm like I'm white I'm like but I'm like I'm like I'm Italian so if, you know I'm only white unless you leave me in the sun too because I mean hang on a second this is you'll so this is I I leave my watch on when I bike I don't know if you can see oh my god <laughs> jeez <laughs> so wow. yeah I get really tan really quick and uh, I can never I can I can never take this off now. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, in public, that's not good. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck's wrong with your wrist? And I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with your wrist? I don't, you don't have this? <laughs> no, you I just got to retort. I got that Michael Jackson thing. It starts right here. <laughs> you, Neverland Ranch? Is that the Michael Jackson thing you're referring to? <laughs> <laughs> Neverland Ranch. Michael... Isn't that a salad dressing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna market that. <laughs> no, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, Neverland Ranch oh, salad dressing, perfect oh. for the Impossible Burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 made from hush money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. He's you dead. A little bit of Corey Feldman in every bite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, this one's Macaulay Culkin blend. <laughs> For when you're home alone. Uh, Extra creamy. Why are we not... <laughs> why are we not selling this immediately? <laughs> really, really. We have not been oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I could... Uh, look, I know you've got... I, I, just so you know, we're at an hour and a half. I could keep going oh, because Jesus there's Christ. nothing I can't... There's nowhere to go, Joanne. Um, so <laughs> it, it's about whether or not that <laughs> that's the very first time that's our very first show. That's yeah, that's Kentucky, right? That's Kentucky. Yes. Oh, I remember that. And that's what we did. That's our first Q and A together. I love doing the Q and A's. Mm -hmm. Obviously oh, yes. nobody read your shirts because they took a picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is, that is perfect. That's true. God damn it. I should sue uh, them. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> I will. I yeah. You might be able to get the reflection off of John Starbucks coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. For some reason, we stopped at Starbucks and had five hours. Yeah, Perfect. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> we were just colon cleansing in the nice bathrooms at that hotel that night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, we can keep going. I could... I could uh, I could call Marla Hooch, see if she wants to come on and hang out. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Uh, Marla Hooch. We should talk about uh, Pick Henson. <laughs> Pick Henson. <laughs> Dottie's, Dottie's husband. Dottie's husband. That is so fucking funny. That, what do you do with an apple? Pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. I mean, okay, I guess you do pick apples. Oh, yeah, you do. do. <laughs> Thank you, like, Pick oh. Henson's. <laughs> In terms of that game, that was a dumb answer. I'm trying to think of somebody's name. Pick. <laughs> yeah. Pick. No, 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 no. Oh man. Um. Oh my God. I love how your cat Sam is looking longingly out the door. Like he could leave. Yeah. I know he, he can. The door's open, bud. You know he can yeah, do whatever but you he's want. Like, he's like, I'm she said this was only going to be an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now it's but John won't <laughs> shut up. Um, it's time to go make forts, mom. <laughs> it's time to make forts. <laughs> Damn to make the donuts. Um, but I'm going to ask you what I uh, that we always end on the same uh, thing. So I want to know if you had one piece of advice to give your younger self, and you can go back and give your younger self one piece of advice. What would it be? Um, 
One piece of advice. Uh, mm, uh, I'm going to let Joanne uh, think, and this is how you know she's never watched any of your shows, John. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have watched it at the end. Who? I would never put a, uh, I would never put a friend through that. <laughs> I might as well He's make like, her mm, totally threw me off here. <laughs> <laughs> I should have watched the last 10 minutes of one of those episodes. <laughs> I never get that far. <laughs> I fall asleep with everything. That's great. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> I uh, I'm going with um uh if I had to give <laughs> uh myself advice. Uh, younger self advice. I would say um, uh, you should come out. <laughs> so, oh, all right. I'm going to go with that uh, because I, it won't be as bad as you think. Nice. And, uh, and people uh, will understand your um, crush on Lily Munster. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think, Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't like Lily yeah. Munster? <clears throat> no, definitely. I would go with that. Absolutely. I wish I could have come out sooner. I wish. But there was no there's no representation. To right. Say the, to Did it happen way late? Did it happen way later in life for you? Yes. I mean I don't know. I mean any any time is way later in life. <laughs> and yeah. I didn't really come out. Uh, to anyone or um, until I was in my uh, 20s, in my my early, mid-20s, I think. Um, uh -huh. But, you know, it's not like I didn't know that, you know, um, that I liked the Lily Munster or, you know, <laughs> and then I rode my bike past Rob and Barron's house all the time. I didn't know why I did that, but I did. So, you know, it would have been nice to have some kind of perspective <laughs> on why, yeah. why I would do something like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going with. I love that. Very nice. That's a good one. That was so honest. That was a very touching answer, I feel like. More <laughs> honest. Like, you weren't just trying to showboat it for the show. Usually people are like, oh, well, I'd say to do this. But you're like, I'd no, say to start. It. This would be my good advice. Do my shtick. <laughs> do my shtick. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I love there that video. Are. Perfect. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah. Um, here's a sad thing. This is the first time I've had like a super close friend on the show. I don't want to end it. I know <laughs> I you have somewhere to say. go, but this is this is. <laughs> you can say here's a sad thing. We haven't been recording any of this. <laughs> None of this. You have to come back. We tomorrow. gave you. We gave you the Chuck Nice treatment, and uh, <laughs> all right. That's we should get a remember. fake thing that pops up on the screen that says "You are now live." That way to freak people out. Yeah. Oh, can we? <laughs> can we do that again? Do you mind? <laughs> oh my god! We forgot to hit the button. Oh. Um. But uh, but yeah, I am gonna. I'll, I'll end it. I'll make sure we get out of here, and I'll let you go. And uh, I also don't do endings of shows well either. So yeah. fair enough. I feel yeah. like I should just get up and walk away. <laughs> I think you Good should night. just do, do what the cat did. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's the end of. <laughs> no. That was I great. Really should have. I should have committed to that. And just not come back. <laughs> Joanne's gone. Good night, Mr. Walters. Mm. Mm. <laughs> sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Good dog. What? What? <laughs> what that was from. Oh, oh God. God. All right. Yeah, there is no good way to end. No, there's never a good way to end. Um, Do you have a knife? <laughs> <laughs> I have a letter opener. <laughs> 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 a letter opener in 2021 is this is just a weapon now it's not a letter <laughs> opener anymore no, no seriously this there's is... nothing a let, what's a letter yeah, what yeah. That? <laughs> exactly <laughs> no one uses this oh. no jesus got it moving around fast all right all right cool well uh yeah thank you for coming on and uh we're gonna do this again obviously i think you're gonna actually i don't know if i told you this yet but i want you to host when i go away um well at least one episode <laughs> yes. guess if you're choosing um yeah when uh when i peace out in uh august i'm going away for a bit cool 
Excellent. Yeah. I'd so, be more than happy to. Excellent. And, uh, Sam will join me briefly. Yes. Nice. I feel like Let's he's fucking to talking to a ghost. It is freaking me out. I know. It is very weird. It's really, you're kind of creeping me out, bud. <laughs> yeah. Sammy. <laughs> Sammy, what's the deal? I love when cats look over like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, not like bothering me. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm gonna hang out a little bit because I kind of want to catch up in the green room when we wrap out. But thank you so much, Joan, for coming out. You yeah, are amazing. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We'll thank definitely you for having have you back me. Soon. Yes, it's Absolutely. it's dude. This, this is awesome. long overdue, oh, so um, Absolutely. it'll be uh, it, it was great. Yep. Yay. Dystopia tonight.